squeegees and just <laughs> it's like almost like the beginning of like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Okay, squeegees and squeegee channels. Look at all these. Whether you've been a window cleaner for 20 years or you're just getting started, it might be confusing because there's so many different types of squeegees and squeegee channels and rubber and different handles in ergonomic handles, rotating handles, swivel handles. So I'm here right now with Mike from DetroitSponge.com. And I'm actually at his window cleaning tool store, and he's going to give us a quick demonstration of all these different types of squeegees. Maybe you're using the same type of squeegee, and you've never changed it up because what you use works, but there might be something actually better. So, Mike, what's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing, Keith? Very well, sir. We're going to try and keep something that's very simple, very simple. Okay. It could become very complicated with all the different choices and things that are out there and varieties of channels. It's something that starts out very timeless with the design. You go back to the, one of the originals and you have the uh, uh, Ettore brass squeegee channel. It's got the rubber. You can see how the rubber sticks out a precise amount here above the channel lip so it gives you a good slide on the glass. You got a little bumper sticking out of rubber at the ends. This is the design that's been around the longest. This is what's considered a, a, a channel that uses end clips to hold the rubber in place. So you see how the rubber here does not slide at all. When you to change the rubber or you, to see how that's held into place, there are these end clips that are on the end of the rubber. And that helps you to make sure you know exactly that that rubber is going to be held in, that there's going to be a little bit bumper at the end. Most of the manufacturers make a version of this that is going to be stainless steel or brass. This is the Ettore Brass. It's one of the best sellers every year. Works real well, slides real well. The other style of the thinner channels like this really are the ones that are what would be called, considered clipless. So unlike the last one that we had where the rubber at the end was held in place by that clip, this one the rubber actually slides. And then the handle has teeth which correspond to the holes in the back of the channel, the notches so that it holds that rubber in place and now the rubber is held. So you get the same, somewhat of the same effect of the rubber not being able to move around much at the end, but it's done in a different way with the rubber being held in the center by a plate. Hopefully that makes a little bit of a distinction with that. There's a whole bunch of channel selections that go with it, but sticking with the channel theme. So this one is the, what's this one, the name of it again? This is the Ettore Brass Squeegee Channel. Yep. And then this one is Unger Ergotech squeegee Ergo channel. Tech squeegee channel. Yep, and that's made of stainless steel okay. versus this one's brass. Brass is a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. Stainless is a little bit lighter, a little bit more rigid. The thing with the brass is it kind of flexes a little bit, so the yeah. old timers always seem to prefer the brass. But um, you know, the weight of the stainless is nice because as you wash enough windows, the weight and the fatigue of your wrist and elbow starts to play into it. And there are other thin style channels that are out there. This is the new liquidator channel that came out from Mormon uh, a couple years ago. It's a popular channel. It's made of lightweight aluminum. They've taken and actually bent the ends here. But this is another where the design really is uh, just brackets at the end that hold the rubber in place, but they don't stop it from sliding. So the handle ends up having teeth to it that bite into that rubber that hold it into place. I know that that liquidator is really popular. I haven't used it yet, but I see it online all the time. What in your eyes from your feedback and being a seller of tools is so cool about the liquidator? Yeah, well, old timers used to take and they would do what they call dog earing the channel where you take this end of the channel and you'd bend it with a pair of pliers towards the glass. So bend it towards me just a little bit and the effect would be that this rubber would be just a little push towards the, the window towards the glass surface. So then when you're up in the corner of the glass and you're trying to make sure that that cut in the corner really wipes cleanly, by having that little extra support of the channel bent towards the rubber, it, it helped to hold in place. So Mormon actually figured out how to go ahead and make that into their clip design at the end. Oh, so, that's sweet. That's actually one of my issues when I'm cleaning windows. So I could see I've just slightly bent down mm -hmm. to create that downward pressure. So there's Ah, right just, in the corner. Yep, just to make it a little bit more precise. Because obviously when you're removing water from that upper corner, it's important to be precise, catch that water and cut it away from the glass. Unger came out with a version of their uh, Ergotech Channel 2 that they've been selling in Europe for years that they brought here where they did the same thing and they dog-eared the channel. Mm -hmm. But that's the style of the skinnier channels. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, you know, a few years back, 
Sorbo came out in the United States a decade, uh, I don't know, a couple decades ago. This is what I use, Sorbos. Mm -hmm. And these are a much thicker channel. They're made of aluminum, so they're not really much heavier, but they're much more rigid, and they hold their shape better. So that translates into you being able to use even larger size channels, so maybe a 24 inch size squeegee channel, without much effort, much extra effort over the 18s because there's not much difference in the weight. And with the thickness of the channel, it really holds its shape well. You get the brass up above 22 inches and it starts to not be as true. And then inside of all of these choices of the thicker channels, which would be the Sorbo, the Super Channel from Ettore, the Ergotech Ninja from Unger, and then the Sorbo. Inside of that, you'll notice that Sorbo really has a unique rubber shape. So it's shaped kind of like a T. A lot of people refer to this as T rubber. The Super Channel and the Ninja still use the traditional shape rubber, which is the round rubber. So the Ettore Super Channel and the Ninja will allow you to still use your traditional can type I put, of squeegee Can I put rubber. links to these all below? Because you mm -hmm. sell all these, you yep, ship absolutely. them all over the country. Yep. So I'll put links to all these channels and handles. Uh, we're going to talk about these handles too. Sure. And you know, we'll talk about the squeegee, uh, the actual handles in the next video. So I'll put a link below this directly to the squeegee handle video. So we're going to talk about that. Click on that. And then um, the one thing I was questioning, because I use sorbos in my business, what's up with... Uh, these they look similar mm -hmm. well you will find mm -hmm, each squeegee really is designed with its own angle and kind of engineering behind it the other a super channel you can tell by looking at it that there's a slight a bit more rubber that sticks up above the lip here the distance from there to there yeah. versus there to there it's slightly longer in the super channel that's going to give you a little different slide effect all that translates into different amounts of pressure different angles whether it's more appropriate or easier to use on pole work, and all of that is going to vary by you as the user. Mm. We sell a, a great amount of the Sorbo products as well as the Ninjas and then the Super Channels. So it, it really comes down to you um, being comfortable with the tool that you have and uh, figuring out which one works What's the best for you. What's the most popular seller? Uh, the, the top most popular sure. sellers? All of these, all of these brands really represent the top seller. The newest one to us has been the. The liquidator that's been the newest one in the last couple of years oh so they're all top sellers yeah okay. they really are we what we commit ourselves to doing is carrying the, the full quality product that you're gonna that are gonna hold up to the professional rigors of the window cleaning contractor out there when you guys are working and washing windows and yeah. from there you got to decide with your personality some people it's a it's a honestly the difference between the thick channels and these thin channels sometimes it can even come down to what your brain and your eyes are picking up as you use the squeegee because your vision your line of sight with the thinner channel is entirely different than it is with the uh, thicker yeah, one yeah. yeah you might not even see the rubber contacting the glass that's oh yeah i wanted to know what what uh squeegee are you using let me know in the comments below let us know uh which squeegee are you currently using what are you thinking about using i use the sorbos and uh, I'm personally more of a kinesthetic, so it has to feel right to me. And let me know if you have to, if you're looking, if you have to see it. Does that make sense? Mm. Have you heard of anything like that? Sure. Because you're talking about. Sure. Absolutely. Well, there's so it's many things that affect it. Thing. Yep. And what you, what you feel is the weight, um, all, all those type of things, even the type of work that you do. If you're doing windows and houses that can be really large, having the ability to have a sorbo that might be larger than the traditional, say, 18-inch size squeegee really can make a difference and save you a lot of time. It's truly, there's so many choices and good quality tools. It's a matter of figuring out what's best for your job. Sweet, sweet. Okay, cool. Thanks okay. a lot, Mike, for the demonstration. No problem. All right, this is Mike from DetroitSponge.com. Thanks so much, Mike, for the demonstration. Demonstration, You're an awesome guy. And thanks, Keith. Later. Later. Mike's on Instagram, too, Detroit Sponge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's posting on Instagram. <laughs>